Hello, and this is a demo for Elastic uh, Apple Chip Assistant Integration version 2.0. So, uh, let me show what uh, Double Chip says on the user will see. So, once uh, a customer clicks on uh, the Elastic Panel menu, uh, the module uh, is trying to uh, fetch uh, the list of uh, huge Elastic uh, websites uh, and environments, and uh, this customer can see uh, all the details on it. Uh, and uh, moreover, he can also perform single send operation from WCS to Elastic just in a matter of one click. So let me click uh, on this button. And you see that I'm being redirected to my Elastic uh, account. And uh, here I can manage uh, all uh, the Elastic environment uh, or create a new one uh, using um, uh, ex extended wizard uh, or use. Uh, marketplace. However, all of these actions can be done uh, right uh, using WHMCS. So in order to create a new uh, Elastic uh, environment or install an application from WHMCS, I can click on this uh, button at new environment and uh, Elastic offers me uh, a list of uh, applications, marketplace applications that are available to install. Uh, for example, I will use uh, WordPress. And once I click on WordPress item, the module offers me to choose uh, in which data center to deploy. For instance, I will use this OVH in France or maybe uh, in the US. And I can also configure um, scalability limits, uh, resource allocation for each node of this application. So this WordPress package uh, is uh, based on Nginx uh, and PHP FPM plus MySQL as a database server. And so far I can allocate uh, uh, CPU and RAM, um, like in this case, uh, okay, it will be uh, one gigabyte of RAM and uh, 3.2 gigahertz of CPU. Uh, moreover, I can uh, specify uh, the size of uh, storage and uh, enable uh, access to this uh, uh, WordPress website using public API. Plus, uh, I can allocate more resources for database, is it usually more resource consum consuming, and uh, increase the size. Uh, and lastly, I should uh, specify the main name of this WordPress website. Uh, let it be WordPress demo one two three. Yep, and uh, press uh, press deploy. But before that, you can see uh, how much uh, will uh, you, you, the customer will see how much uh, this uh, WordPress website will cost him. So, uh, and if I change uh, any of these uh, resource limits, uh, the estimations are also being changed. So this is done automatically. And let's press deploy and wait for a while. So you see that uh, this uh, website is being deployed. And the Elastic spin ups uh, uh, all needs uh, containers, configures uh, uh, web service, database service, applies patches, and all, many other operations. And uh, within a minute or two, this customer will receive. An email uh, where uh, Elastic will s uh, specify access credentials to this uh, WordPress instance, including uh, access credentials to MySQL database. So you can see that uh, this WordPress environment uh, website has been successfully created. And uh, what we can do afterwards? So, first of all, we can see that this environment is up and running and uh, it has. Uh, following resource limits. So one gigabyte of RAM and 3.2 gigahertz of CPU is allocated to web server based on Nginx and the rest of the resources are allocated for uh, MySQL database server. And for each node, uh, I can track how much resources were used or I can remove this node. And moreover, I can uh, open uh, this uh, website, WordPress website with the web browser. So once I click on this uh, link, uh, WCS will red redirect me to a particular uh, website, yeah, so that's how, how it works. So, uh, and uh, moreover, I can be an uh, external domain name for this environment, so it's also implemented as part of this module. And uh, I can also uh, apply uh, SSL certificate uh, and install custom SSL certificate that is issued for uh, maybe second level domain name for this environment. So that's well, quite easy to do. And, uh, and let me show the feature uh, that is intended to depict uh, resource usage. So I'm clicking on a particular node and uh, choosing show statistics. 
and Elastic shows me how much resources uh, were used. I can choose a different period, like uh, what was during the last week, what was the usage during the last week. And I can see uh, how much uh, CPU, uh, RAM, storage, and network bandwidth uh, were consumed. So this is quite useful, and I can change uh, the duration and uh, the interval and see different graphs here. So, yeah, you can see that it works. In addition, I can uh, configure um, the SSH access so I can add new public uh, keys that uh, will allow me to access to all, all the environments. And uh, I can also see all the actions that were performed uh, by these modules. So it's also really useful. Lastly, I can remove my environment, so yep, just uh, but I need to confirm this action. And uh, if a customer wants to uh, perform some uh, complex actions uh, on his uh, uh, cloud websites uh, or his uh, Elastic uh, environments, he can go to the uh, Elastic dashboard. So we implemented single sign-on feature, and it works uh, uh, very seamless. So I just need to press one button. And uh, afterwards, uh, I can uh, manage uh, all the environments. I can increase resource limits. Uh, I can uh, configure high availability, uh, manage files, uh, and, and etc. So these actions can be uh, configured uh, uh, right in the Elastic Control Panel.